When I was seven, I was only afraid of two people, my mom and dad. One night, we were having noodles for dinner. I could feel the soft light in the dining room, smell the tomato sauce, and hear my mom's voice. Sherry, put all the chopsticks on the table. Yes, and yum. Mom, Dad, let's eat. I was eating. My parents were talking. But suddenly, what's wrong with you? My mom stood up. My dad's eyes grew wide. Don't do this in front of the kid. I heard some bad words I didn't know the meaning of, and some bad words I wish I didn't know the meaning of. All of a sudden, my mom knocked all the bowls and plates on the floor. Red tomato sauce splashed all over the wall. Mom, Dad, stop fighting, please. I'm scared. My mom looked at me. Sherry, I'm leaving. Who do you want to live with, Mom or Dad? Pick one. Can you imagine how I felt? Pick one. I turned around and ran to my room. Heard my mom slam the door and left. My dad came into my room and sat next to me. Baby, I know it's hard, but I have to ask you a serious question. Do you know how to clean off the tomato sauce on the wall? <laughs> Two months later, my mom came back. A home sweet home became a battlefield again, and that war continued for 15 years. After college, I escaped. To live in a big city, alone. People and relationships—they're scary. But when I turn my back on them, my dark, lonely shadow scared me even more. I was miserable, and my only friend Lily told me, "Sherry, come with me to Toastmasters." So I went to Toastmasters. Such a scary place. So many people clap their hands for no reason. A a guy named Jim approached me. His little eyes were sparkling. Sherry, if you want to know more about Toastmasters, you and I can have dinner together. Is he asking me out? It's like a movie, a horror movie. <laughs> But the more I got to know about Jim, the more I thought he's cute, funny, and warm-hearted. But then I heard a little voice: "You can't handle relationship. You're gonna hurt him and yourself." I turned my back on Jim. <laughs> Let's just be friends. Sherry, why? I don't want to ask my child one day, "Mom or Dad, pick one." Sherry, we are not your parents. We are competent communicators. <laughs> What scares, you, what scares you now may bring you the most beautiful thing. Give it a chance and turn around. Jim held my arms and turned me around. I looked at him in the eye. 
well, it's not that scary anymore. Jim turned my world around, and now we are happily married. Do you know what it's like to marry a Toastmaster? All of our conversations are five to seven minutes long. I'm not, I'm not even afraid of my parents anymore. Jim and I became their married consultants. I am scared now, but I wouldn't want to mess all your beautiful, smiling faces. Are you? Turning your back on your fear. Our life is like this stage, but what scares you now may bring you the most beautiful thing. Give it a chance. 